Reagan Smith, Chase Kalis, and Jay Litherland are all moving to Arizona State University to train under Bob Bowman? That makes ASU an absolutely stacked training group as they join Liam Marchand, Haley Flickinger, and Olivia Smaliga. That group sports a total of 10 Olympic medals and 24 Long Course World Championship medals. And that's before you realize that Liam Marchand is just getting started in his career. Marchand won gold in both the 200 and 400 IM at 2022 World Championships, and that 400 IM win came with an eye-popping 404.28, a time that scared the once invincible-looking Final Phelps world record. The most surprising of these announcements is easily Regan Smith. Most interestingly, Smith is not transferring in order to compete for ASU. She's postponing her degree in order to turn pro. In fact, the lack of a transfer made it all the more surprising, because we normally get a little bit of a hint when an athlete enters the NCAA transfer portal. Last year was Smith's first year competing for the Stanford Cardinals after she deferred her freshman year in order to prepare for the Tokyo Olympics. In her NCAA championship debut, Smith took third in the 100 backstroke before taking on the world's nastiest double, winning gold in the 200 backstroke and taking second in the 200 butterfly. At the 2022 NCAA championships, Smith led the Cardinals in points scored, scoring 53 individual points. All of those points leaving with Reagan make Stanford's attempts to take the NCAA crown back from Virginia much more difficult. Reagan Smith had her breakout year in 2019, where she stunned the world, shattering Missy Franklin's 200 backstroke world record. Dude. She then went on to set another world record in the 100 backstroke, leading off Team USA's medley relay. Since then, Smith has placed third in both Olympic trials and international team trials, preventing her from competing in the 200 backstroke internationally. Smith posted her fastest 100 backstroke since 2019 when she won gold in 2022 Worlds. Will this coaching and location change let Reagan continue the upward momentum she appears to be building? Time will tell. What's really interesting is that both the Tokyo Olympics and this year's World Championships, Smith and Flickinger were Team USA's entries in the 200 Butterfly, and they've been battling each other in that event for years now. I can only imagine how scary those fly battles are going to be in practice now. Moving on to perhaps the least surprising, Chase Kalish. This move just makes sense, right? I mean, Kalish was coached by Bowman as an age grouper before he went on to compete for the University of Georgia. Now that Georgia's Jack Bowerly is retired, what better time to reunite with your old coach? Having coached Phelps, Kalish, and Marchand, Bowman has coached three out of the top four fastest ever 400 IM swimmers of all time. With Marchand right now being the man to look out for in the IMs for 2024, I'd want to train with him too. As for Jay Litherland, well, after your coach retires, why not move with your longtime training partner to arguably the best IM group ever assembled? Will we see more swimmers move to ASU in order to be coached by Bowman? Hey, Someone tell Luca Orlando that Bowman's also really good at coaching 200 flyers. There are rumors going around that a big time sprinter is already set to join this growing pro group. If you want to hear who it might be, I guess you just have to subscribe to Swim Sam News to stay updated and comment down below who you think we might see join this training group in the future. Moving on to perhaps our least. Chase <laughs> <It's> Kalish. <laughs>